Monday's press conference was like no other. Instead of the usual police brass, there were representatives from four other agencies talking about the saturated patrols this weekend that led to several businesses being closed. The IPD official said the joint effort was because of public complaints they received from Fredericksburg residents during a neighborhood meeting. I heard the town residents who voiced an overwhelming frustration with the state of Fredericksburg town. Complaints ranged from discharging of shots, loud music, breaking of bottles on the sides of homes, parking violations, public urination, and prostitution. Law enforcement from the Departments of Health, Planning and Natural Resources, Licensing and Consumer Affairs, and Fire teamed up with the VIPD this past weekend visiting businesses in both Frederickstead and Christiansted and finding numerous violations, even shutting some down. On Friday night into Saturday morning, the department found five licensing violations. Uh, four of those were for operating uh, without the correct business license, and one of them was for operating outside the scope of the license. The fire unit, prevention unit, that night visited 15 businesses, establishment. All of the businesses that were visited were found to have fire and life safety violation, except for two. In some instances, the violations were so egregious um, we felt that there was an imminent threat to public health and safety and that was the cause for the disconnect. We opted to do the inspections um, while the businesses were open. For the most part, most of the businesses were in compliance. But several local business owners want the agencies to answer why their business was shut down when their paperwork was in order and their businesses were closed at the time of the raids. Es un abuso del gobierno. They didn't give you no fine, don't tell you nothing, run, fix this, fix that, they didn't tell them nothing. They just did it. So they're wondering what they're going to do in the meanwhile. If they want them, they want them to fix things. How are they going to fix it if they're not working and getting money? How are they going to do it? Who going to respond for the things that are getting spoiled in the bar? It's a question that won't be answered until they make an appointment with DPNR. Erica Parsons, News 2.